Hey, what's up guys? This is Jeff, and uh, I just got my iPhone 6 Plus. So, I was at the Verizon store since 4 o'clock this morning. It opened up at 8 o'clock. I was done by about 8.30. And um, sometimes you got to make some sacrifices to get what you want. So, this is the iPhone 6 Plus. It's Apple's thinnest phone, I believe, next to the 6. It's 7.1 millimeters. Um, it's about half the size of a fingernail. So, I mean, it's, it's super thin. Um, it's the 5.5 inch HD retina display. That's a 1920 by 1080 resolution. So it's, I mean, it's extremely high definition. Um, I went there this morning and I was actually the 13th person in line. I received the very last iPhone 6 Plus. So, I mean, I literally made it by the hair on my teeth. I'm very blessed. Um, let's see. So, this phone has a ton of cool new features along with iOS 8. Um, one of the new cool things that the phone has is an upgraded camera. And you can see it actually... It's not flush with the phone. It comes out. Um, it's really neat. I know they put a lot of hard work into the sensors over there at Apple. So I'm, I'm always really impressed with uh, Apple's, you know, video technology. So let's see. One of the other cool things that it has is it has the fingerprint scanner. So instead of putting in um, my passcode every time, I just scan my finger. And I've been playing with it for the past 10 minutes now, and I must say, it's probably two to three times faster than putting in your code. Um, I really started getting sick of putting in my code every time, and I try to cut back on my notifications. Overall, I try to spend less time on my phone and more time in reality. I'm sure you guys understand. So I really like the new fingerprint scanner. I had the 5, not the 5S, so I didn't have that. Um, one of the other things that the phone has is a really cool new hardware upgrade called Metal. Now, if you're into um, gaming, specifically, you know, phone gaming, um, there's been a huge breakthrough in their hardware, and they've been delivering um, frame rates, I think it's like 400% better than their, their standard, you know, video chips. So, uh, yeah, huge breakthrough. The gaming now is... There's nothing like it, and part of the reason why is because one of the other new things in the phone is the 64-bit architecture that the processor is built off of. So your, your, your standard desktop at home is actually built off of 64-bit processor, um, unless it's a 32-bit one. But it seems almost like they skipped 32 and right, went right for the big boys. So this is literally um, a computer in your hand. You can actually really say that now. Um, let's see. One of the other cool things that Apple put in it is an, uh, an NFC chip, a near-frequency communication chip. Essentially, you can pay for things with your phone. You just scan your phone. It's almost like that speed passing for gasoline at Chevron's. Um, I've been waiting for them to put an NFC chip, and they finally did it. So that was really cool. No more, no more toting around uh, debit cards and credit cards and stuff. Yeah, baby. Um, let's see, what else did they put in this thing? I know they upgraded their uh, Wi-Fi antennas, so you get uh, three times the um, Wi-Fi connectivity speeds. That's always great, keeping up with latest technology. Um, there's two processors in this phone. There's the A8, you know, 64-bit architecture park processor, and there's the uh, motion processor. It takes a lot of load off of the A8 and just helps with a more streamlined experience. Um, also, as you may know, Apple has integrated a new health app into their thing, which I think is cool. Um, it has a ton of features, anything from uh, eating to sleeping to running. It's, it's, it's actually very functional. Um, let's see. Oh, one of the things I forgot to mention about the, um, about the camera is it has this new oops it has this new feature called slow-mo so you can take really 
awesome HD slow motion video. Um, you can do it in two versions, 120 frames per second or 240 frames per second, defend, d depending on you know what you're capturing. So if you're capturing something super, super fast, like someone hitting a baseball or something, then I'd recommend going to 240. But if you're you know capturing something a little slower, then you can go to 120 and save a little bit of memory. So I love that. I was playing with that. Very, very cool. Um, one of the other things it has on it is handoff. Apple has introduced this new thing called Handoff and say you're working on your iPad and you need to go and do a bid or something, maybe you're a business owner or something and you need to get out on the road. Well, whatever you're working with on your iPad, it, it's handoff right to all your other devices. It's, ex it's very streamlined. Um, if you're a business owner or you're starting a business like I am, um, you're going to love Handoff. I, I really know I am. Um, let's see here, what else? Oh, I, I also forgot to mention, because the A8 um, processor is new, it essentially is going to use less of your battery. So not only is it going to make your phone faster, but it's going to make it more battery efficient, which I thought was really cool. So I think that's everything. Um, sorry it took me a little long to... Uh, get a video up on here but if anyone has any questions or comments just let me know if you like this video please like it and you guys have a great day god bless you guys